Hello, hello there and welcome back to Napalm's newest news and today I want to talk about the Battle Pass season number 5 River Hunter. As usual you will find the link to the devblog in the description down below and this is not meant as a full detailed video it's just a heads up that you know what we're talking about and then if you really want to know more you can go into the video description and click on the link and then you can read through it for yourself. So October the 27th till the January the 26th that will be the fifth se uh, season and we have to look first of all about we have to talk about the vehicles and there are three winners and one loser so first of all let's talk about the LVT 440 which will be a French low tier vehicle and it has a 40 millimeter and from what I can see also two coaxial 50 cal so very strong versus aircraft and very strong versus tank um, it's also amphibious it, what's not to like about it yeah weak versus RT strikes but versus normal AP it might be able to soak up some damage so that is something that I think will we will see um, quite often in higher tier battles as a troll machine. Then we have to talk about here the PT-658 torpedo boat. And again, it will be a premium of rank 3. So that puts actually quite a bit of value to it. But in terms of naval forces and patrol boats, it's not outstanding. And naval forces is in a dubious state yes to capture some capture points it will be good uh 240 millimeter bofors again featured are not bad the torpedoes yeah you have four but it's not something really different to what we already have in the tech tree or as premiums available so not really something amazing but not really terrible either then we have to talk about the bowfighter mark one with the 40 millimeter and not just one but two and from what I can see it might also get AP and with that it will be a threat to aircraft and tanks alike and we will see quite a few of trolls with this as well um, so this will be unique this will be cool but it will be, will be not extremely unique think about Yak-9T, Yak-9K and other such aircraft B6R3 for the German ME410 variants etc but again rank 2 and a premium then we come to the last but not the least and that is this glorious beautiful pt 76 57 improved engine and an automatic 57 millimeter gun with a 20 round ready rack so it's an auto loader it will have a stabilizer night vision device it will have both uh, ap and he and ap will be very uh, likely APHEBC, so super special Soviet balanced uh, armor piercing shells that do not really care too much about angling, up to 150 millimeters of penetration, also um, amphibious, and sadly, I think it will not get a proximity round, so it's a bit more like ZSU 57 2 and not like the Chinese variant of that. So those are the ones. Now let's have a look at this, which also you can find as a link from the initial link. And uh, you can see that here we have a lot of the uh, prices. Some of them are free. Some of them you have to purchase the Battle Pass for. However, there are not really that many details on how big the boosters will be. And I think that we will never reach again the booster prices, the amount of boosters and their size as we reached like um, a year ago with the first Battle Pass season. So yeah, then there are the uh, descriptions for the various different special tasks. And that is all that is there to be said about the new Battle Pass Season 5. I hope that you enjoyed the quick informational video. Again, link in the video description down below if you want to read through it again or in more detail. That's it for me today. So thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. You know where to hit the like button to subscribe. And also we will see each other on the waves in the skies and on the battlefields of War Thunder.